it's going to take time and it starts with the babies. But we've been saying that for 30, 40 years now. Nobody's trying to, black people are just ain't trying to build no families, man. They they out here just doing stuff, I, my, yeah. and no we, and yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. You know? It, it needs to be some systematic processes systematic in place process, yes. to lead to the solution. We can't just say it's about the babies. Okay, what do we need to do with the babies? Do we need to we, go get 40 acres? Do we need to do this? Do we need to get our man. own schools? Boy, what do we need to do? It's, 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 Don't just say, I say this. I we, say this what do we time. need to do? I Put say it, this. I say this all the time. And give that to everybody and say, do this. I People, this is Will Ransby, Role Players TV. We got some special guests here. Two special guests here. We got Khalil Brown and we got Ronald James. Very influential people in the community. We got Khalil here as an HBCU grad, a Bachelor of Architecture, Howard University. Uh, he's also got a master's degree from Georgia Tech right here in Atlanta. Married, father of four, involved with construction, real estate, cannabis for over 25 years. Mr. Khalil Brown. <laughs> All right, we got Mr. Ronald James. The real big dog. Oh, uh, yeah. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. trying to get up to hit him. <laughs> Current CEO, Sovereign Crown Capital, certified long-term political and social activist, Pan-African member. Currently. Doing things big in Africa. Nice. All right. So what I want to start out with is uh, a couple of questions. I want to start out with you, Mr. Mr. Ronald James. Sure. Um, so this, this whole series is about uh, rebuilding families, generational wealth. And we were talking on our way here about how families black families it's hard for them to really come together and talk in a way that says our instead of my i you know my house my car i'm gonna go and buy my house i'm gonna go and buy my car instead of family saying i'm gonna go and buy my house we're gonna go and buy our car okay and we're gonna build a business together under one roof we were talking about you know buying a mansion you know, instead of everybody buying different houses in all these different areas, you know, but buying one mansion, everybody living under one roof and building. Why is it that black families don't are not motivated to, you know, build in this way? Well, the black family born have been broken through the process of chattel slavery. Our language was destroyed. Our our self-economic engagement within the, co the family community have been destroyed. But most of all, our unity that made us a force to be reckoned with in any field you want to go into have been destroyed. Unity. Unity. So mm -hmm. I, I remember somebody said one time, black people don't even know how to organize crime. That's correct. You ever? Mm, never heard that. Yeah. That's deep. Yeah. We have been miseducated and are still being miseducated. Yeah. A male have a role and a female have a role. If it's two parents you don't understand that role, then you have no family. Mm -hmm. You have bodies there, but you don't have a father head, a mother head. Children don't stay in their role. Mm -hmm. The family cannot educate the children. So you just have a uncoordinated group of people living together, calling themselves a family, but they're not a family. As a people, 
we was enslaved physically, but the pants, the, the Africans on the continent, they was they wasn't put into chattel slavery, but they were put into mental slavery. Mm-hmm. They were put in mental mm-hmm. bondage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they are still in mental bondage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they was never in child. Some of them was in child slavery, but ninety percent there was put into what, mental bondage. They took they took the, the language from them also. Mm-hmm. It's it's the weaker mm-hmm. tribes that really wasn't involved in the child slavery. Yeah. It's the it's the weaker tribes who mm-hmm. really like were kind of like sellouts mm-hmm. who sold out the the major tribes, which basically let's see, well, I think it was three major tribes. It was. Uh, well, I'm talking about ancient tribes. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the ancient tribes of Israel. Mm-hmm. One, the, the biggest, obviously, was Judah, mm-hmm. Yehuda. The other tribes, you know, the, you're talking about, and I'm talking about how it translates, how the ancient tribes kind of Hell. branched out in all, yeah. all of the, mm-hmm. the, you know, the tribes in Africa mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. now. You know, they created their own. Little splinter groups. Yeah, because mm-hmm. that's, that's what families did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like if you, like if your son, mm-hmm. right, he's, he's 20. Mm-hmm. He's gonna have a have get married mm-hmm. probably and have kids. Mm-hmm. He's gonna start his own tribe, mm-hmm. and he would name his tribe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's under a big a bigger tribe in everybody's family. Mm-hmm. That's what they see. This is how the black family is just so divided right now. We ain't no tribe no more. No, mm-hmm. yeah. you know what I'm saying. And I forgot what it was. Somebody was talking the other day how they uh, uh, the uh, Europeans. I forgot which com- country, but when they had that certain meeting. Mm-hmm. I can't think of it all right now. And then they they created the borders within Africa. Mm-hmm. That was we going was, back in time before there were borders. That, that was the destruction. Yes. Of it. Why they, do we need a border? Yeah. yeah. Here yeah. and there. Why you? Right. Why is it this? Because Look, Spain. European, what is European Union for? Yeah, Germany. Because no they they were they they created the borders because yeah. they were claiming certain you know territories. And that's that's why I was telling my wife she's you know she's from Colombia, mm-hmm. and I was telling my wife I said, do you really think that's that that Spanish is your native language. She actually thought that Spanish were her, was her native language. Mm-hmm. I said, "You see that museum that we Hebrews, go to? Hebrew is your language." Thank language. you. Mm-hmm. You see, you see the, the the museum we went to, and they showed the the white guy in them, and they saw how he discovered. Mm-hmm. I said, "No." Travis I said, "Okay, Carol. let me just put it this way: Columbus, Christopher Columbus, named Columbia. Mm-hmm. That's why it's Columbia. It was named after Christopher Columbus." Mm-hmm. I said, "Christopher Columbus." Was was commissioned by the Queen of England mm-hmm. to capture y'all mm-hmm. into slavery and use the the labor free labor to build Colombia. Mm-hmm. I say you're speaking their language mm-hmm. with the two popes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she was yeah. like, "Yeah." Mm-hmm. Weird. I was just reading that the other day. <laughs> She's like, weird. No. We, yeah. I said, yeah, yeah. yeah let me yeah. show you. <laughs> yeah. I was just reading how one of the popes. I forgot which one. Um, actually signed off and said you can make these certain Two folks slaves mm-hmm. but not these and of course it was the dark us you know the darker you know yep. not them you know exactly. you know because we always talk about that about these podcasts and people in general we love the barbershop talk whatever talking about yeah. the problems we have but nobody's talking about solutions that's what i was right. saying so i was just saying we were when you were kind of off to the side um i, was, I asked him like do you think there can ever be Black unity, because we've been talking about it since the '60s wow, yeah. now. I think I recorded that. What did he say though? Can we take it back? What he said? Um, he was like, "Yeah, you know, he had a positive." But well, he said it can it can be. Yeah, he, he said it's going to take time, and it starts with the babies. But we've been saying that for thirty, forty years but now. Nobody trying to black people are just ain't trying to build no families, man. They they out here just doing stuff. I my yeah. and no we and yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, you know. It needs to be some systematic processes systematic in place process, yes. to lead to the solution. We can't just say it's about the babies. Okay, what do we need to do with the babies? Do we need to we, go get 40 acres? Do we need to do this? Do we need to get our own schools? Boy, what do we need to do? It's, 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 Don't just say, I say it's, this. I we, say this what do we time. need to do? Put I, say it, this, I say this all the time. And give that to everybody and say, do this. Uh, there you go. I say this all the time. The first, the first thing that needs to happen is... You see all these black people in the, in the great up ghettos and in the, in, the, in the community, even in the in the upper communities, middle class. Mm-hmm. You know, they still have this mindset, this hip hop culture, this this. That's whole, what I was just gonna. You jumped it right. <laughs> what I was thinking. We he says it's about the babies, and we yeah. start the babies, and then we then 
you know, hip hop, yeah. you know, which was started positive at first, and then it became gangster killing you, take Percocet. And who's the biggest? Rapper? Have them have twenty baby mamas, and you and you the man. Who's yeah. the biggest female rapper right now? Sexy Red. Okay, I couldn't even tell you. I know it's you don't one, need you know, to know, bro. I know Cardi B was a stripper, so I know it's a yeah. sex. Whether it's Cardi oh, like, B or Sexy they Red, promote. that's what they promote. Go up there and shake your ass, bend yeah. over. They're gonna promote Roma. Sexy Red. Who got the wettest ass? This. Yeah. Who can suck the best? This. And who's listening to that Sexy Red? The little girls. The girls. Mm -hmm. yeah. So music is a part of the it. The babies. That's but what they're attacking. But then it goes, you know. Uh, well, Mr. James Generation 2 They came at us with the music mm -hmm. They come at us with the education Yes That that creates the plantation mm -hmm. Negro mindset yeah. Which you yeah. were talking about yeah. And then they came um, As you see with that movie uh, I mean that show Snowfall And many other yep. The Wire That show mm -hmm. yep. They came at us with the drugs mm -hmm. Yeah So It's about the babies But how do we Protect ourselves From the crazy music The propaganda And the media The, uh, the drugs What you said The bad food Education, because the, first, the whole the, fraud of the whole pharmaceutical industry yeah. with these, the whole, you know, the fast the, food. The, uh, oh my God! Don't talk about that. That's true. That's the, so much. Oh, the beast. The, the initial, the yeah. initial yeah. process yeah. of change. High blood pressure and everything else. Yeah. The initial process of change is first to attack the minds mm -hmm. of black people. Yeah. Because that's what was lost in the first place. They took our books. They took our education. They took our mm -hmm. language. They took everything. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So renewing the spirit of their minds, it has to be a deprogramming and a reprogramming of their minds to get them to understand and make them aware of who they really are and where they really came from and what you represent and what you're supposed to be representing. And, you know, Christians say and, and, and you know, I love having conversations with Christians. You know, I love, I love Christians. I love having spiritual conversations with them. But I said to a pastor one time and I said the first step to turning around the black community is under this black people understand that first morality and and true uh integrity starts with spirit yeah. it starts with spirit of god it starts with it starts with that. everybody it. everybody has the spirit of god i love everybody. that word integrity yeah i love that word everybody has the spirit of god mm -hmm. okay now, you say there are bad spirits and there are good spirits. I, I just think there are spirits. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's, that, that makes a spirit bad is your mind. Mm -hmm. Your mind kind of opposes this good spirit in you and makes you do these other things. But if we, the if first we get the spirit, we understand that, look, this is where you came from. This is who you are, right? Mm -hmm. You came from this before this, mm -hmm. right? So let's get back to that. How do you do that? First, you got to get the knowledge, education, the wisdom. Mm -hmm. You got to get the wisdom and understanding, and mm -hmm. then you get the knowledge. And when you get the knowledge, you get the power. Mm -hmm. And then when you get the power, you're able to teach everybody else mm -hmm. with that power. Mm -hmm. And I ain't talking about power and strength and muscle. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about power of mind. Mm -hmm. When when we get these young people like my son, mm -hmm. he ain't got no baby yet. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm slowly giving him that spirituality, where he came from. I'm giving him the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding. However you want to flip those. Mm -hmm. Once you get that, then you have the power to counsel and teach everybody else mm -hmm. that comes into contact with you. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to deal with people, challenging people. Because mm -hmm. the biggest challenge of everybody in this world is dealing with people who oppose them. Ooh, that's deep. That's deep. And that's and that the opposing young, force. Yeah. The opposing force is the one. That's the one thing that attacks that spirit. Mm -hmm. And when that spirit is attacked, you can't move forward. Mm -hmm. No, I agree with you on that. Um, because I hear from my, you know, a couple of my children and other youth, you know, my friends, sons and daughters as well. But they're having a hard time. Which one of the things you just said with dealing with people. And the workforce and life yeah. with the interpersonal skills um, because they weren't outside playing like we were yeah. when they were little. They've been on the phones and yeah. on the computers mm -hmm. and uh, you need those skills. You got to yeah. have it, man. Yeah, because that's that, that. Socialization. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're not being socialized, then you have a, you can intermingle with anybody in the race mm -hmm. if you've been socialized. 
that means you know how to give and take. Mm-hmm. Without go. knowing how to give and take, then the least thing is might be might seem aggressive. But if you're not socialized, socialized, you can walk away from it. Mm-hmm. See, that, right. You that's can neutralize that social. It. Yeah. Right. That's that social. Um, that's that social.